हेलो एंड वेलकम टू स्टडी विद सुधीर योर डिजिटल क्लासरूम स्टडी विद सुधीर में आपका स्वागत है एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू बी लुकिंग एट अ चैप्टर फ्रॉम हिस्ट्री एंड दैट इज द फर्स्ट फेज ऑफ द इंडियन नेशनल मूवमेंट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन वीडियो लेसंस ऑन द फर्स्ट वॉर ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस दैट्स इन थ्री पार्ट्स देन द ग्रोथ ऑफ नेशनलिज्म दैट इज द इवेंट्स दैट टुक प्लेस इमीडिएटली आफ्टर द फर्स्ट वॉर ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस कल्मिनेटिंग इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस इन 1885 सो डू टेक अ लुक एट दोस फाइव वीडियो लेसंस थ्री ऑफ द 1857 म्यूटनी एंड टू वीडियो लेसंस ऑन द ग्रोथ ऑफ नेशनलिज्म सो टुडे इन टू पार्ट्स वी आर गोइंग टू बी टेकिंग अ लुक एट द फर्स्ट फेज of the indian national movement and talking about the early nationalist phase the assertive phase and of course the gandhian era about which we have already done in great detail so when we are talking about the early nationalists the early nationalists jab hum kehte hain uska matlab kya hai so the initial years the congress the indian national congress jiski sthapna 1885 mein ki gayi thi that was led by a group of leader known as the early nationalists not very difficult the nationalists the indian national movement tabhi shuru hua tha so that was referred to as the early nationalists now they were essentially members of the educated middle class and they included professionals like lawyers barristers teachers and government officials and basically unka jo what was the common thread running between them was that all of them drew inspiration from western liberal and radical thought okay western liberal so they were more influenced by the western western scheme of education and their thought was essentially western liberal that is not very orthodox and a very radical thought and many of them as i said were educated in england and felt that the british intended to be just to indians but they were unaware of the true state of indians in india that the britishers Uh, at heart they did not mean any harm to indians but it's just that they were ignorant about ki bharat mein us samay ki paristhiti kaisi thi jiski wajah se unki policies were seen to be anti india at that point in time now who were these early nationalists wc banerji the first president of the indian national congress in 1885 at the mumbai session then you have rash bihari ghosh you have surendranath banerji then you have dada bhai naroji Gopal Krishna Gokhale who was known as the guru of Mahatma Gandhi uh, then you have justice rana day uh, then you have from the south you have people like anand charlo and p r naidu pandit madan mohan malviya from uttar pradesh uh, and also some englishmen like a o hume and bedderburn these were the two englishmen who helped in the formation of the indian national congress also and supported the early nationalists and therefore were known as the group of early nationalists now the early nationalists who led the congress and as a result the indian national movement were staunch believers in open minded and moderate politics they were more moderate in their approach they were not militant or very aggressive in their whole approach towards the british government in india say they believed in loyalty to the british crown and this is a very important aspect that you need to remember ki angrezi sarkar ke khilaf ve ek tarah se moderate approach ko apnate the the and they were more loyal to the british crown now in fact bc pal who was one of the early nationalist leaders he said in 1887 i am loyal to the british government because with me loyalty to the british government is identical with loyalty to my own people and my own country okay bc pal is an important figure jiske bare mein hum baad mein padhenge uh, and they wanted that indian should have their proper and legitimate share in the government which is operating in india so they asked for constitutional and other reforms within the framework of the british rule as they had faith in the british system of justice and fair play british sarkar ki jo kanuni vyavastha thi and their whole principle of fair play ki ve ek tarah se nyayik roop se sahi kaam karenge us par unko vishwas tha so they wanted constitutional and other reforms for indians within the framework of the british system of justice and law and this is very significant they did not want the britishers to get out but they wanted more facilities and more reforms which are aiming to make the lives of indians better within the framework of british law and justice and their demands were therefore seen to be moderate in nature okay they were not aggressive so what were the beliefs of these early nationalists now the early nationalists had faith in the sense of justice fair play honesty and integrity of the british okay 
which was not really the feeling in 1857 but by the towards the end of the 19th century i mean the end of the 19th century these early nationalists were the one who were calling the shots they were the ones who were leading the movement and because of their whole approach they said that they believed in the british system of honesty integrity justice and fair play it was their hope that british would grant home rule to indians they were of the opinion that britain would help indians govern themselves according to western standards so they were almost looking to the magnanimity uh, to the almost like you know the britishers would be at some point of time would be charitable to give more rights to indians then they also relied on constitutional and peaceful methods to achieve their aims they believed in patience and reconciliation rather than violence and confrontation the gandhian uh, philosophy was non violence but it was one of confrontation but the early nationalists believed in patience and reconciliation ki mitrata sahi ek tarah se baat ban jaye us par unka vishwas tha now what were the demands of the early nationalists ye dusri baat aati hai pehla uh, demand tha constitutional reform jiske abhi humne aims mein baat ki uh, the early nationalists wanted a greater share इन द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ द कंट्री कि उनके देश में आई मीन भारत भारत में उनको एक तरह से ज्यादा शेयर मिलना चाहिए सरकार के काम काज में इसके साथ साथ दे ऑल्सो वॉन्टेड एडिक्वेट रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ इंडियंस इन द एग्जीक्यूटिव काउंसिल ऑफ द वॉइस रॉय जो वॉइस रॉय का जो काउंसिल था भारत में एंड दोज ऑफ द गवर्नर्स जो कि प्रोविंस में थे उनके जो जो काउंसिल थे उसमें ज्यादा भारतीय होने चाहिए बिकॉज एक तरह से जो लंडन में जो काउंसिल था उसमें तो कोई भारतीय नहीं थे तो यहां पे जो एग्जीक्यूटिव uh, काउंसिल था उसमें उनको भारतीय ज्यादा चाहिए थे देन कम्स द इकोनॉमिक रिफॉर्म्स द रिडक्शन इन लैंड रेवेन्यू एंड प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ पेजेंट्स अगेंस्ट द अनजस्ट डिमांड्स ऑफ द जमींदार जो जमींदार के जो जितने भी मांगे हों उसमें एक तरह से प्रोटेक्शन uh, uh, की जाए किसानों की और जो लगान लगता था उसमें भी uh, कमी की जाए इसके साथ साथ डेवलपिंग ऑफ बैंकिंग इरिगेशन मेडिकल एंड हेल्थ फैसिलिटीज फॉर द पीपल ओके सो दैट वाज सम ऑफ द इकोनॉमिक डिमांड्स ऑफ द अर्ली नेशनलिस्ट देन देर वी कम टू द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव डिमांड्स एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव डिमांड्स में दे वांटेड कंप्लीट सेपरेशन ऑफ एग्जीक्यूटिव एंड द जुडिशरी दैट इज द पर्सन हु इज हैविंग एन एग्जीक्यूटिव रूल रोल ऑफ लुकिंग आफ्टर ए पर्टिकुलर प्रोविंस और डिस्ट्रिक्ट शुड नॉट ऑल्सो हैव मेजिस्टीरियल पावर्स द पावर्स ऑफ ए जज Uh, the wider employment of because agar hum if you are protesting against someone who is a district authority the same person cannot then also sit in judgment on you as a magistrate that was their idea the wider employment of indians in the higher grades of the administrative service ki indian civil service mein jyada bhartiyon ki bharti ki jaye those were some of the administrative demands of the early nationalists then we come to the defense of civil rights the other मेजर डिमांड ऑफ द अर्ली नेशनलिस्ट ना उसमें दे वॉन्टेड द रेस्टोरेशन ऑफ राइट टू असेंबल एंड फॉर्म एसोसिएशन रिमूवल ऑफ द रिस्ट्रिक्शन इम्पोज बाई द ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट ऑन द फ्रीडम ऑफ द प्रेस ऑन द फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच उस तरह के जो सिविल राइट्स थे उसकी भी मांग अर्ली नेशनलिस्ट ने की नाउ वट आर द मेथड्स विच आर अडॉप्टेड बाई द अर्ली नेशनलिस्ट नाउ the uh, the method which was known uh, which was adopted by the early nationalists they were known as constitutional agitation method now uh, constitutional agitation method uh, and iska prayog kiya tha early nationalists ne what were the first and isme bhi do two sets of methods hain uh, usme ek to first set of methods mein their first objective was to educate the people in india in modern politics to arouse national political consciousness and to create a united public opinion to ye tha unka pehla method that they wanted to educate people in modern politics ki jo aadhunik rajneeti mein unko ek tarah se education diya jaye unki jankari ko badhaya jaye aur iske sath ek public opinion ko create kiya create kiya jaye aur unki jo rajneetik samajh thi usko bhi ek tarah se badhava diya jaye aur iske liye ve kafi meetings का आयोजन करते थे और वहां पर रेजोल्यूशन को पास किया जाता था जहां पर इस तरह की मांगे को उठाया जाता था और लोगों को बताया जाता था कि ये हमारी मांगे हैं और उन्होंने साथ साथ प्रेस का भी इस्तेमाल किया वर्नाकुलर प्रेस हो या अंग्रेजी प्रेस हो ताकि ज्यादा से ज्यादा लोग जो पढ़ लिख सके वे इन बातों को समझ सके एंड दे ऑल्सो सेंट मेमोरेंडम्स एंड पटिशन टू द गवर्नमेंट ऑफिशियल्स बोथ इन इंडिया एज वेल एज इन 
England. These were the first set of methods which are also seen as moderate methods because the pura approach hi unka ek tarah se moderate approach tha. The second set of methods was making use of three P's. Petition, prayer and protest. Ye three P's ki, uh, ka, ma, ko ist, ka istamal karke unhone ek tarah se British Sarkar ke saath के के सामने अपने जित, जितने भी मांगे थी उनको रखने का प्रयास किया सो so, पिटिशंस यानी कि आप एक मेमोरेंडम दीजिए कि ये हमारी मांगे हैं दूसरा प्रेयर विनती कीजिए और तीसरा प्रोटेस्ट यानी कि उनके खिलाफ आयोजन कीजिए किसी तरह के मोर्चे का दे सेंड पिटिशंस रिक्वेस्ट एंड लेटर्स ऑफ प्रोटेस्ट टू द ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट टू लुक इन टू द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ द इंडियंस द डेपटेशन ऑफ इंडियन लीडर्स वॉज सेंट टू ब्रिटेन and dada bhai neroji spent a major part of his life in britain to create awareness among the british people and politicians about the plight of indians uh, to ye kiya dada bhai neroji ne he spent a lot of time living in england interacting with british parliamentarians and other leaders in great britain now the early nationalists ke what were the kind of achievements that they made as a result of this first set of methods and this second set of methods now usme what essentially happened was uh, they managed to arouse the feeling of one nation essentially because they also managed to interact with the educated middle class the working class of india right so they aroused the feeling of one nation they also trained indians in the art of political work ki jo rajnitik samajh thi usko bhi ek tarah se badhava mila is early nationalist ke kaam ke dwara tisra they exposed the true nature of british rule in india jo british rule ka jo asli chehra tha wo bhi ek tarah se bhartiyon ke samne samne aaya ke samukh samne aaya aur unhone british sarkar par dabav dala ki ve thode se constitutional reforms ko introduce ki kare jaise ki ek public service commission ki niyukti ki jaye ki gayi 1886 mein jo ics ka jo examination tha wo london aur bharat mein simultaneously ek hi samay par उसको उसका आयोजन किया जाए उसको रखा जाए और अपॉइंटमेंट ऑफ द वेल बी कमीशन ऑन इंडियन एक्सपेंडिचर सो वेल बी कमीशन इंडियन एक्सपेंडिचर के ऊपर उसकी नियुक्ति भी की गई तो एक तरह से दिस वर सम ऑफ द अचीवमेंट्स ऑफ द अर्ली नेशनल इज नॉट वेरी ड्रामेटिक बिकॉज दे आर एसेंशियल अप्रोच वॉज मॉडरेट एंड दे बिलीव इन वर्किंग अलॉन्ग विद द ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट इन गेटिंग थिंग्स डन फॉर द इंडियन पॉपुलेशन तो ये था भाग एक में भाग दो में वी विल बी लुकिंग एट दी official attitude towards the congress of the british government once it was formed initially of course they were very happy because they believed it will act like a safety valve also jo prominent uh, early nationalist neta the dada bhai nehru ji ho uske sath sath surendranath banerji ho gopal krishna gokhale ho in tino ke jo jitne bhi unke contributions the jo ki kafi bari do mark ke prashn ke roop mein bhi aata hai aur ek lambe uh, prashn ke 10 mark ke question mein bhi तीन या चार मार्क के क्वेश्चन के रूप में भी उनकी जो जितने भी कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशंस थी उसके बारे में भी आपसे प्रश्न पूछा जाता है काफी बारी पूछा गया है पहले कि अगर आप टेन इयर्स के पेपर्स को निकाल के देखें सो दैट वी विल डू इन पार्ट टू ऑफ दिस चैप्टर ऑफ द फर्स्ट फेज ऑफ द इंडियन नेशनल मूवमेंट थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग